Hi, Leah. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for June. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Leo out there. So, guys, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so get in where you fit in. And as always, Leo, don't try to push yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Leo? Leo. All right, Leo, you are starting out with the Page of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups reversed. And coming out together, we have the World in Reverse and the Eight of Cups. So there's a situation here that I feel like you have pulled back from. You have love for somebody, but I feel like you're not really expressing that. Um, you're keeping that to yourself. It's like you've built a wall around your heart here. I do see this as a situation where you walked away because it wasn't a fulfilling, you know, situation. It wasn't a fulfilling energy you were dealing with. But you don't feel like everything is done and over. So you may have physically walked away, but there's still something that's unresolved here between you and somebody. Um, and like I said, you do have feelings, but you've kind of walled your heart off. With the Page of Pentacles here, you could be receiving some sort of a, um, a new offer a small offer or something, or this could be texting. It could be something to do, but it, it's usually something tangible. Um, let's look at the, let's look at the other person's energy. Show me who is in Leo's energy. With regard to this connection, I do feel like you have a very innocent energy here. All right, so the person that's in your energy has the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. This person's in a lot of anxiety. Um, something here is really, this person is feeling a lot of pain. They're feeling trapped in that pain as if they can't proceed forward. I do feel like they're, they have some regrets here. There's sadness, there's regrets. Um... And the feeling of being trapped in, in a painful situation. Um, I do feel that this person has a bit of immature energy. Um, and I am seeing that there is a little bit of a spark here that this feel this person is feeling. This could be someone new, um, but it doesn't feel like it. Let's see, let's see um the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between Leo and this person. They could just be younger than you, or they could be less mature, um, but they're definitely stuck in something that is feeling very painful to them. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a this was an abundant relationship. Um, I feel like you would like to you would like to grow this relationship, but they're just not in a good place here. Yeah, the two of you could really have a lot, though. Let me see what's affecting this connection. There's a new beginning that um, has either happened or wants to happen. Show me what's affecting this connection. Seven of Pentacles. You've invested a lot into this, and that's why you've pulled your emotions back so much. I do see you, Leo, being surrounded by family and friends that are supportive and helpful to you. I, there's options that are here. It's like you're looking at, at ways to, to grow this connection. You're looking at all the options. Now, this person is a bit more immature. Um, I do see that it's almost like they're looking away from the connection. Um, there is a sense of having invested a lot, though. So, this must be somebody from your past. But there's that immaturity that's present as well. And this person could have had options as well. If so, I would say it, it has more to do with passion than to do with love. So let's see um, your outcome at the end of this week. And that would make sense as to, as to why you pulled back. Queen of Cups in the reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, 
Um, let me see. Uh, I don't really see any other signs yet. But with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, you might be dealing with a karmic connection here. You don't have to be, but, um, and you would know. If it doesn't resonate for you, just let it go to somebody that it does. But what I'm seeing is that by the end of the week, you're both kind of holding back. This person in your energy is holding back their emotions because, you know, they're they're feeling a lot of pain. They're feeling trapped in pain um, for some reason. And we'll clarify that because I'd like to know why. But I feel like you're holding back your emotions as well. But you just, you don't feel like things are over between the two of you. So, you're dealing definitely with somebody that's a bit immature. There is love here. And it is on both sides. So, I and I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity to grow this to, to make it, you know, really abundant. Really, really something else. And by the way, just as a side note, Leo, you may have something here that, um, that it, it's some sort of an offer that's going to put a lot of money here in your pocket. Yeah, I see your money. I see your money growing. So that's that's good news. Always good news. Um, but with regard to this connection, this person's holding back because they're in this state of pain. So bottom of oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This is underlying energy. So that's that new beginning. That's that new beginning in love. And that's what's underlying this. So I just feel like there's a lot of emotion and a lot of love, but there's something going on with this person and it's affected you in such a way that you've pulled back. You've really pulled back. They've pulled back some as well. Um, let me see. I'm going to clarify spirit wise, the page of pentacles here. Somebody is a connoisseur of food. <laughs> I can see somebody really enjoying um, something to do with enjoying food. All right, so we have the chariot. We have the six of swords. We have the three of swords and the four of wands. This could be somebody you've been married to or in a long-term connection, but it's been very painful. And I feel like you're beginning to move forward. Some of you are moving forward because you have another offer. You're just simply tired of the way this person is treating you. Um, and I, I, I see you moving forward. You, you don't want anything that's chaotic. You're moving towards peace. Because this has been very painful. Um, why is the King of Cups in reverse? The Lovers in reverse. And the Six of Coins. Yeah, this person could have had other options. They, This person in your energy, they're a bit immature. I feel like they are more passion-related right now. They're not in touch with their emotions and feelings. So you may have been giving more to this connection than they were. If they had a choice between two people, I feel like they chose, uh, they chose someone over you, which is what has caused you to kind of close your heart off, to wall, put those walls up. Um, but you're not unsupported, and that's good. I do feel like you would like to bring balance back to this connection because you don't feel like it's completely over, and you're kind of trying to figure out how you might go about doing that. I'm not sure it's up to you to do that, though. This this person might need to step forward. All right, we have the Death card in reverse. We have the Two of Swords reversed. And the Five of Cups. So you both have the, um, well, yeah, you both have the Five of Cups here. You've been doing a lot of looking at the past, looking at how things have gone um, in the past. And I do feel like you, you've you made this decision consciously to walk away. It wasn't like a knee-jerk reaction. I do feel like you've you've gone through a lot of sadness as you walked away. It's not like you really wanted to. It's almost like you felt like you had to, that things had just reached a point where you had to. And that's another reason why things are not completely over in your in your view. And I can see you've decided that too. You've decided to kind of leave a door open for this person. There's unresolved business between the two of you. All right, so let's look at their energy. A lot of you are focusing more on your money right now. Why is the Five of Cups here? For the person in Leo's energy. 
Yeah, they're sad about the ending. Two of Cups reversed. They feel you're a soulmate. And the Justice card in reverse. They have regrets for the way they've treated you. They know that this ended because of, you know, poor treatment. So I feel like this person didn't treat you well. Um, I am seeing Libra energy here, Scorpio, Gemini. Um, but this person knows this ended because they didn't treat you well. And they have regrets over that. Why is the page of wands here? Six of wands reversed. Yeah, they they worry about whether or not this will be successful. This is somebody who is, they're kind of in that lustful energy. Um, it's a young, immature energy. And that's what has actually caused this to be unsuccessful between the two of you. They think about you a lot, though. They think about you. They definitely feel trapped. It, when they think about you, it's painful. They don't quite know what to do. But that's that immaturity as well. And they they wonder if they if they move towards you, if they try to spark something between the two of you, will it be successful? They feel like it won't be. So let's see why the Eight of Swords is here. This person overthinks a lot. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Magician. And the Ace of Wands. <laughs> they're manifesting a sexual connection with you. Um, so they, they're definitely in that lustful energy. It's like they're denying their feelings and emotions, but they're, they definitely are missing the physical connection with you. Um, so much so that it's actually painful for them. I do see them manifesting this connection, but they're, they're manifesting from a low vibration, and that's problematic. They're not, they're not in touch with their feelings and emotions. So when they're manifesting, they're kind of manifesting from a lustful, connect, a, a lustful position. They definitely have very strong feelings towards you. And I, I feel that they, this, um, they're manifesting a new connection with you. Um, they, they, they see you as happiness. They see you as a soulmate. Let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, you've withdrawn for sure. Because it was so painful. This may be somebody that you were married to or you were planning to marry. But you've really withdrawn. And they feel you moving forward. They feel you trying to move on. Now... I do see that there's a lack of communication. You're healing your energy here. You're focused on your money right now. And that's that's going to go well for you, by the way. They feel powerless. They know that they didn't treat you properly in this connection, and that's why it ended. And they're feeling very powerless. They're trying not to have any kind of arguments with you. Um, they're trying to make sure that, you know, any connection with you is positive. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? This is what's affecting the connection. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? For some of you, you may have children with this person. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Queen of Wands reversed, and the Ten of Swords reversed. So what's affecting the connection is this person wants to, to repair it, but they don't know how to go about doing it. They really don't. It, they stay trapped in their head. They're thinking, thinking, but then they it's like a self-defeating, a self-sabotaging energy. They, they are thinking about how to approach you, what to say, um, when they do reach out, it's probably very minimal, but what they ultimately want to do is invest in the connection and, and resolve this. This is somebody who betrayed you. 
they betrayed you by bringing in a, a third party of some kind. And I'm seeing it for a lot of you, it was a, another person in the connection. They were giving their energy to more than one person and you felt they didn't choose you. That's what walled off your heart. And I can see that you're not taking any action towards them. You've really pulled back. You, you're not giving emotions. You're not giving actions. You're keeping silent. But you're still very invested in the connection. You're just keeping it all behind that wall, pretty much. They actually do want to make amends. They want to make amends for what they've done, but I, I feel like they're very immature. So let's see your outcome. Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? We have Judgment Reversed, The Fool, and The Page of Swords. So there's a new beginning that is trying to come in here. I see it with the Ace of Cups, Underlying Energy. I see The Fool. That's taking a leap of faith. Um, now, you're both like really up in your head. More so this person. They're an overthinker for sure. They feel like holding back has been a bad judgment call here. They definitely feel like they've made some poor judgment calls. What they ultimately want is a passionate new beginning and they're manifesting that. However, this new beginning, I don't see it happening this week because I, I see both of you still kind of holding back your feelings and emotions. This person is beginning to realize, Leo, that they should not have done that. That holding back their feelings and emotions, sitting in their thoughts has been a bad judgment call. I do feel like um, there's a new beginning that's trying to come through. Now, in your energy, this makes you sad. You know, walking away, I don't feel like you walked away because you wanted to. I, I feel like you felt you had to. And I'm also seeing that you are keeping tabs on this person. Um, mostly to see whether or not there's been anything that has been learned from the past. It is obvious to me that this person is coming to terms with the fact that they have not treated you well. They've made a lot of poor judgment calls, and they're manifesting this new beginning. They, they certainly are. Again, I don't see it happening by the end of the week for most of you, depending upon your timeline, but I do see it coming forward because it's underlied by the Ace of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it can't happen until um, bygones are, are bygones. Yeah, and there's things that are still being hidden. So this person has a lot of maturing to do, and I think that that's affecting it. It's slowing this new beginning down. I do see you kind of keeping tabs on them. It makes you sad, though. It makes you sad because I feel like you feel you had to walk away. All right, bottom of the deck is the Three of Coins. That is a soul contract or a contract of some sort. It's a cooperative. You could know this person through work, but I'm, I'm definitely seeing that uh, you're really walled off right now, but not because you want to be. Let's see if there's any oracles for you. See what we've got. Domestic relationship. So yeah, this is somebody you've been involved with, um, like on in a committed relationship. Down low, should have been truthful about my lifestyle. So this person is hiding things. They were hiding things. They regret it now. Um, we have third party. Yep, exactly what I told you. A third party was introduced which caused the end of a relationship. Yeah. But I don't feel like the door is closed. I feel like you I feel like you walked away because you felt like you had to, not because you wanted to. All right. I do hope this has been helpful, Leo. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.